but not before leaving a historic path of destruction across the southeast. This drone video shows some of the devastation in the Florida Panhandle. Entire neighborhoods were just wiped out. At least six people were killed by the storm. Nearly one million people remain without power. And communication with people in the storm's path is still difficult, if not impossible. And 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena just talked to two women whose family was left with nothing. It's just really sad. Yeah, that's right, Kim and Steve. These women actually used to live in Panama City, and now they're mobilizing to help as many victims of this hurricane as possible. By the time Hurricane Michael made landfall in Florida, it was a devastatingly strong Category 4 storm. The destruction evident in these photos from Panama City, the images captured by friends and family members of two San Diegans worried sick about their loved ones. Absolutely gut-wrenching, terrifying. Worst day ever. It's terrifying. It makes you feel guilty when you're in somewhere so beautiful and there's nothing you can do. Both Carrie Coleman and Sierra Bancroft lived in Panama City before moving to the West Coast. They say they've lived through hurricanes before, but never like this. It's just really terrifying how powerful these storms are and how devastating they are to these regions. They've been able to get in touch with most of their family and friends, but there's still some people they haven't made contact with. But they've started collecting on a GoFundMe page, and in just a few days, they're heading to help however they can. We're hoping to bring things like socks and underwear and toiletries and sunblock and bug spray and, you know, little things that, you know, may have got ruined or lost or maybe they just can't get to. The plan is to fly into New Orleans on Sunday, get a U-Haul and load it up with supplies. Distribute, rebuild, clean. I mean, that's really all that we can do. It's just torture not already being there. It's yeah, again, waiting, just want to squeeze just waiting. Now we have posted a link to that GoFundMe page if you want to help those women buy some supplies. Also, there'll be a fundraiser for hurricane victims next Tuesday at Diego Tattoo in North Park from three to seven. Reporting in the studio, Lindsay Pena, 10 News. Willing to help so 